Welcome. You are entering a world of pretension, of intelligence, of an unabashedly handsome alpha male. Meet Pretentious James. Hey there, Fit Posters. So, I've got a story for you. I have a bike. I've been taking it out on lunchtime rides at work. Uh, just to, you know, keep active somehow. Well, a co-worker invited me out for an actual uh, mountain biking trip on a decent, decently difficult trail. And um, lots of uphill, you know, lots of uh, pedaling hard, huffing and puffing. And my bike has mainly been used for road riding, even though it, it looks like a mountain bike. I say looks like a mountain bike because I quickly discovered it's not a real mountain bike. This coworker kept telling me for months, don't buy a cheap bike. Don't buy a cheap bike. Don't buy a cheap bike. Well, I bought a cheap bike. Not only was it cheap, it was uh, on clearance for about 60% off. We get out on the trail and the first time I take it off road, off the paved portion, uh, the handlebars start swinging wildly. They come loose. Swinging so wildly, my brake handles are pointed up at the sky. In order to stop, I have to twist my wrist back into the most uncomfortable position imaginable. We go up some other steep hills. My cardio suffered. Um, I'm not doing that great. And then there's this massive hill. I don't, I don't know how much elevation change there was, but it had to be like a very steep, you know, 400 feet at least. We get to the top of the hill and there's a warning sign that says, do not bike above your level. Uh, trail is advanced. Steep drop-offs, gradients will cause you to build up large amounts of speed. Uh, trail narrows to just a few feet. Hairpin turns, like the, the warning list was uh, pretty impressive. It had me second guessing whether or not I should do it at all. Coworker said, you know, if your brakes work, just ride them down the whole way. Make sure you don't build up too much speed. You'll be fine. If the brakes aren't working, walk it back down because you could die. I'm not going to back down from a challenge. So I did, as he said, rode the uh, brakes the whole way down. Weren't lying about the hairpin turns. Uh, there was a section where you do a 270 degree um, loop. And when you come out, there's immediately a 90 degree turn at the end. And if you miss that 90 degree turn... There's a 30 foot drop off. Yeah, they weren't lying about it being uh, deadly if you screw up. Luckily, I was going slow enough the whole way down. It wasn't an issue, but the roughness of the trail and the intensity of the ride pretty much shook my bike apart. So I have a street bike back there behind me that I will use for road riding. And I'm on the, in the market for a real mountain bike that uh, won't be destroyed the first time I take it off road. So you get what you pay for. Um, let that be a lesson to you. Till next time, Fit Posters.